You're listening to The Core, and we're answering your questions about the faith. I'm with Professor Michael Horton. I'm Pastor Adriel Sanchez. Give us a call with your question at 1-833-843-2673. That's 1-833-THE-CORE. Or send us an email at questions at corechristianity.com. And here's an email that we got from Alex. I've been listening to the show for a while. You guys have made some comments about being the star of your own life movie instead of finding yourself in God's story, and that people are too concerned with felt needs. I'm not sure I understand what you guys are talking about. Doesn't God care to meet our needs? Oh, thanks, Alex. Uh, you know, I would I would encourage you to can't uh, you know go into as much detail as I'd like here. Wrote a book called Ordinary, uh, an ordinary title. Uh, <laughs> you, you could uh, go to our website and uh, and check that out if you want. I'm not against felt needs. Um, uh, I'm against turning Christianity into form of self-help that loses God and his glory as central. When we become central, it's, hey, have I got a God for you? He's going to satisfy all your needs. He's going to make your marriage great. He's going to give you great kids, give you whiter teeth. You know, he's just, it, it's, it's going to be great. And then people become Christians kind of buying as consumers, buying that product, and like other products that, that fail them, uh, when things go south, they, they say, okay, well, it's not working, and so I might, might as well find another, another bargain. Um, Christianity is different from every other religion, and it's different from all self-help therapies. Christianity tells us what we don't want to hear. Christianity tells us that, yeah, the, you do have some real needs, and we'll talk about those. But you don't even know what your real needs are. It's not just that we need the Bible's answers to our questions. We need better questions, hmm. and the Bible gives us that. And, and so once the, once the Scriptures really get into us and we, we begin to see God's story as the frame for our whole life. We're living in God's story. God isn't living in ours. When, when, when we, it becomes God-centered instead of me-centered. What's really interesting, Alex, is that we begin for the first time to, with those needs met, kind of still have other needs that are important, but now they're in perspective. They aren't our greatest needs. We can be content and satisfied in situations we weren't satisfied and content in before, because the big thing, the big thing that was kind of haunting us somewhere down in the recesses is something we're now focally aware of. God's Word has made it clear to us. And, and, and so, to really, to, to get inside God's story is so much better than try to shoehorn Him into, into ours. Uh, I don't come to Christianity to find truths that confirm me and strengthen my resolve to live better, try harder, or make more of myself. No, when I encounter the God of the Bible, I come to see that, that I need to die in this episode. <laughs> I need this character, this nowhere man making all his nowhere plans for nobody, needs to die. That's it. Just needs to die and be raised with Jesus Christ, the star of the show. That is what I need. I need a compass, a new compass. This one's broken. And that's what the Word of God does for us. It in introduces us to reality, Alex, and it helps us to come to know God and His story so that we really can find our place in the world. And once that happens, there are, yes, we pray, Lord, help, help me uh, get a better job. Lord, I, I pray that you give wisdom about our finances or about uh, this move that we're contemplating, uh, the kids' school, or, you know, Lord, please help me um, uh, with this, this illness that I have. Absolutely, we have these needs, and, and we're told to bring them to the Lord. But we come with confidence, even with those needs, knowing that God has made a way for us to approach Him in Jesus Christ. Now we're even freer and more interested in coming before the Lord and bringing Him our petitions, even about the smallest things, because He's our Father who cares for us. Now we know that story better. Now we see our felt needs in a different light. 